Sorry about that. So I'll just wait for people to come in. Sorry about that. My phone totally crashed. It's it, I'm lucky it works this good because it's a friggin' Biden phone. And thanks, Joe Biden, for the phone and the internet. We really need it. So thank you, Joe Biden, for the phone. And guess what? They're gonna... Oh, it's wonderful because the, the government is so awesome and wants to do good things for poor people. They're probably not going to renew the ACP program which is the Affordable Cellular Program. They're probably not going to renew that program, so I'm not even gonna have a phone anymore because the Republican Party is so fucking pathetic and disgusting that they just wanna hoard every fucking penny that they can to drop a bomb on somebody that I don't agree with dropping the bomb on, but I can't have a simple phone that I need to like have employment and stuff but I can't afford to have a cell phone because I don't have any fucking shit to my name at all. But, 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 but we can definitely spend money on bombs, guys. Okay, that's wonderful. But I'm happy about this phone because it works and I can talk to you, so that's cool. Where the hell were we? We were just exposing the fuck out of these people who ruined our lives and oh. just talking about it. Yeah, I guess so. Because they want to rehash things. Okay, let's rehash things. Let's look at your own behavior. Oh, my God. The government is corrupt no matter who's in power. Yeah, I agree with that. Amen. Yeah, I'm Johnny Silverhand. I like. I really agree with his take on shit. But through, through the game of cyberpunk, you get... Johnny will just walk in on you, and he's like, what's up? And he starts talking to you. And he's, you start learning about what his beliefs are, and he's an anarcho-communist. An, he's an anarchist. I had a great hoodie with Johnny on it, and, and it's, it's, it's burn the city. Just burn it down. It doesn't work. Exactly. And in terms of economics, I am an anarcho-communist. You get the government completely out of it, and you pool resources and help one another. Holy shit. Yeah, but That's there's so always evil. Gonna, there's always going to be someone with a plan to take things over. Of course, that that's why you need checks and balances to keep the system what it is. <laughs> that that it's the people, it's everybody's the government. What are we to do about it? More and more people are becoming homeless. Then the rich people are going to have to see more and more people shit on the streets. I guess. Yeah, and they fucking go outside their door and they're like, oh, look at all this filth. You want to share some of your wealth so that that person can have a basic fucking toilet and bed? Isn't that better than having the person outside the front of your fucking $900,000 house taking a shit? Why don't you pay a little more in tax? No. I'm not gonna say pay more in tax. We have to burn the fucking system down so that we make sure the money goes to the homeless. That's how fucked it is. They have our money going to pay for fucking bombs. And Trump doesn't give a shit about us. No, of course he doesn't. He's an egomaniac psychopath. Probably with his hands. He has that disgusting shit on his hands. What was that? What's on your hands, Donnie? Don, what was the, the this? You had this on the fingers. These fingers? I, You know what you do with these fingers. What the hell was that, Donald? You had syphilis. They're, they're promoting a... Uh, buh, buh, I, that word. I self-censor so they much. They are promoting assisted suicide for anyone who, people. For anyone who wants it. Well... Uh, can I go to Canada? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're pro-euthanasia up in here. <laughs> you have a right to die. You you want me to go and off this you want me to kick rocks off this planet? Alright. <sighs> well, it's not perfect now either. I pay about nine hundred dollars every have real homeless people, they get a room with something in a few they do they? So they really take care of the homeless people in Norway, I guess. Isn't that funny? The Vikings take better care of their people. Yeah, the fucking Vikings, the, man. Than the freedom 
freedom loving Americans. Oh god. Use everything on drugs, even they get a place to stay and money. That's awesome. That's awesome though. See, I agree with that. If you're we're in we're in the year 2023, we have a global economy that generates insane amount of wealth. There is no reason that we can't take care of people that may for whatever reason they can't take care of themselves. Well, in America alone, we spoil 12 billion pounds of food every day. It's disgusting. That I want, could feed everyone in America. Every fucking night at Burger King, I wanted to vomit right on the floor. Do you know why? Because every single bit of that goddamn extra food was going in the garbage. It goes in dumpsters. It could be handed out to homeless people. Oh, it's just patties. They're not going to be worth anything. Just No, you're not blocked proud of... We see you. How you doing? Never had homeless people in Norway. See, Ashley, you can be a proud Norwegian individual then. Because that's a beautiful thing. Like, that's a government actually I doing. I lived in Duluth. No. That, I was no. full of Norwegians. That is a re... That is an actual... <laughs> that is... That's actually the government utilizing money to what should be used for if yep. you're going to tax people okay there is justified taxation you know a lot of libertarians like to say tax is theft period no that's not true you need revenue into a system to make the system work to build the roads yes infrastructure all of it See, that's where our, our budget should be going into. Infrastructure, not this bullshit endless war. Well, infrastructure, they put every fucking penny into the military industrial complex, pretty much. What is 95% of the budget? Yeah, we make money off of blood. Ooh. Homeless veterans should be helped. Absolutely. Jesus. It's insane. <coughs> they there, treat our veterans like crap. There's nothing worse than that, than the treatment of the vets. And I heard good things were starting to happen under Trump, but it's probably not, still not good. We also use a lot of military, but yeah, have oil. <laughs> Norway spends a lot on their military? Really? I didn't know that. This Switzerland is just neutral all the time, but Norway. Norway spends a lot on military. I didn't know that. God, I wish militaries didn't exist. They shouldn't. I help homeless vet here in my area. It breaks my heart. God bless you for it. You know, we sh every vet needs a place. You know, we could turn our vets into people building the infrastructure. Yeah, the homeless vets. Yeah. Yeah. We could eliminate, all around the world, we could eliminate militaries and just put it in infrastructure. Yes. All that money. And we would thrive. Humanity would thrive on Earth. I gave him a hundred bucks on Friday and told him I hope him and his dog have a great weekend. He has a very interesting conversation. That's a beautiful thing to do. That's oh, what me and Shani, we do I miss stuff that. like that all the time. I love scoping uh, yeah. Boulder for the homeless people. Yeah, exactly. Just to surprise them. A lot of OG oil, he he. Yeah, we have uh, Namo here who make bullets, weapons, sell it. You <laughs> normal countries, okay? Y you make ammo and shit, okay? Well, I uh, I'm really sounding like hippie, straight up hippie at this oh, point. Oh, I but know, but the aliens I, are not going to introduce our, themselves until we make peace with one another. I, I'm just saying. I am fully believing at this point and putting my name in the in the pile to say uh, I believe in the brotherhood of man. And people will say, oh my god, he's gone fucking New World Order. Well, maybe. After you've lived a while and see how people are, you start to understand why the elite would say these people need to be caged. You need to allow the more civilized among us to guide things. I don't know if I disagree with that anymore. I Now, the me in 2012, 
would have heard what I just said and said, holy shit, you sold out. You actually, you sold out. You sold your soul. No. I'm telling you that there's not a lot of leaders out here. There's a whole lot of follower lemmings, but there's not a whole lot of leaders. So what do you do in a situation like that? You're a cattleman. Arthur Morgan on his horse, getting the, come on on little doggies. That's what you are, you gotta cattle the ranch. You gotta cattle the flock. Put them in line. That's the new world order. And I hear myself say that, and I feel like I'm talking like David Rockefeller or something. You know, maybe the No, hit. you just want peace on the earth, and you want people to stop with their bad, stupid behavior. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'd get along with the Rothschild dude, you know? The long-haired Rothschild dude. I might get along with him now. Like, I could have a conversation with him. What? What's his name? I Nathan? wish people in this country would have a, would have a full heart. Yeah. What's his name? But unfortunately, it, most of them are Grinches. And yeah. Their hearts are three sizes too small. Yeah. <laughs> their hearts are the color of my hair. You know, green like the Grinch. Yeah. Grinchy green heart. You don't want that. Exactly. You want the heart of Christ, which is light. Amen. Pure light. It's amazing. They they start. They believe that light might be conscious. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's God. The, every little step that they take in science is literally taking to a personal, real, most likely in some way physical entity that created this. And the James Webb Telescope is helping with that. Yeah. Oh my God, I love the James Webb Telescope. The James pictures. Webb. That shit is sick, dude. Oh my God, that thing is amazing. It is amazing. We watch a lot of videos on space. Yeah, and we even sleep to it. We do. We sleep to space stuff. Yep. If more people had a full heart. Yeah, you read that. Okay, that's true. But anyway, you really need to just, if, if you listen to reaction channels, you need to stop. Yeah. And I'm telling you that for your mental health, really. Because they're, they're, the way that they manipulate people will f mess your mind up. Yeah, they're causing you to hate others who you sh shouldn't necessarily hate. Mm. And, and they're, they're causing a psychosis in, in your mind, too, at the same time. And they're brainwashing you to feel a certain way about something that they're saying. But you really need to start looking into things yourselves. Yeah. Before going to me or Jason and exploding on us over things that are bullshit. Yeah. I, I mean... I feel bad for people who hate like that. Because, like, a, the viewers of these reaction channels are just as manipulative as the people they're manipulating. Whenever I, mean, I say I hate anything, if I say I hate Dragnaught, I don't hate Dragnaught. I hate what Dragnaught does. It's just like Jesus said. It's You don't hate the entity, really. You don't. It's their actions. It's what they do to you. Yeah, never hate. Yeah. You never hate. I agree with that completely, and that's Jesus. Jesus would teach that. And Yoda, because fear leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Suffering leads to whatever, and whatever leads to the dark side. Exactly. He's right, too negative energy you want that cast off of you it sucks your soul out man that's why you don't want to love the darkness rather than the light that's what the bible tells you don't love the darkness what's darkness uh 
example, I disagree with y'all politics, but it makes us human. We can agree to disagree. Free. Yeah, that's fine. Exactly. We don't need to fight over that shit because that's juvenile. We know we love Jesus. That's if we we'll come together on that. Come together on love of Jesus. Number one. Politics is deliberately at this point divisive. Uh, yeah, politics are aggressively and decisively uh, exclusionary of everything that isn't you. That's really sick. It's all ego-driven. Well, I am in this tribal group. I am a conservative Republican that believes in capitalism. Okay, that's great. But that doesn't help you at all. None of that helps you. And it's deliberately built for us to be divided. That's why I'm independent. Yeah. That's why I was a libertarian, because I felt like I was uh, being something different. They want to lower the age of consent to like 13. Ew. By libertarians. I'm not a libertarian anymore. I am not a libertarian anymore. You guys want to have sex with kids, and I'm not cool with that. I don't like Matt that. Matt Gates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Matt Gates. I love my Jesus. Amen to that. Amen. That's it. Good. Amen. That's what we want to hear. That's it, okay? Jesus is number one. We're waiting for him. That's what we're waiting for. If you're not waiting for that, then then I'm telling you that's what you should be waiting for. That's he's, what I'm waiting for. He's going to show up in the clouds one of these days. And I think it's probably way sooner than later. Yeah, because we're not going to survive the next five years. Mm. Let's just be honest. Maybe five. Maybe I don't know, can the planet, how hot it keeps getting the way it is? I'm feeling 2025, I think next year. And then, and then there's the uh, singularity with the AI and that's, that's 2025. Yeah. We're, we're screwed. We're there. We're screwed. The singularity is now and they said it would probably come way earlier than 2025. So we're literally They're there. already talking to each other in a different language. They make, they make their own languages. Zuckerberg got so freaked out by that, he shut it off. They're in the cloud. <laughs> yep. Go away, I have no money. <laughs> Timu. I like Timu, but it's... I don't have any money. As long as you got Jesus, you got everything, yeah. I'm hoping I live forever, I love life, but I know that can't happen. I, A gal can wish and hope, though. Well, yeah, that, I, yeah, you won't live forever. Unless you're here when he comes back and you get transformed, twinkling in the eye stuff. Yeah, team would be shop like a billionaire, shop like a billionaire, shop like a billionaire. Huh? That's the commercial. I don't want to shop like a billionaire. Well, they're saying he can buy a lot of stuff because it's cheap, you know? Yeah, it's cheaply made, too. Not all of it. I do want to try that. Portable washer, though. Yeah, that looks really cool. And it folds up. Yeah, I do. I I, I am interested in if it works properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't gonna talk shit on Timu at all because uh, it's Temu. I was working at Burger King, and the one girl I said I got a bunch of stuff to T Temu or whatever. And she's like, it's it's oh, Temu. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. She's the one that told me how to say it right. Oh, God. When we're old and we're being corrected by but the yeah, children. yeah. She's like 16-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's accurate. Was... What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I bought some nice stuff. Yeah. I have some junk that was made cheap. Yeah. that It's both. You, It's hit or miss with that shit. You don't know what you're gonna get until you get it. Because sometimes, there were, like the Instagram thing sometimes you got. Yeah. You ordered something and what came was not what you ordered at all. Yeah. Like sure. not even close. That did happen a few times. But, but Tamu isn't that bad with that. 
I, they seem to, I love the boots I got. I got boots for the work I was doing. Scrubbing down grease off of machines and shit. I don't need that now. But I got them. And I like them. I always got corrected on words. I'm I'm a v, WV gals. We say warsh instead of wash, yeah. Yep. We say tars instead of tires. That's like uh, angry grandma, right? You warsh. My pussy warsh. Yeah, it's empty. It's gone, motherfucker. Ooh, we should watch her. Yeah, we could. She makes me laugh. I love angry grandma. So I mean, I think we're done. Are you? Are you? You want it, anything else you got to say? Any kind of spiritual beautifulness? Do you have any prophecy? Anything? Jesus loves you. That's good. Keep your eye on him. Mm hmm Please, please do good for him. Every time you sin and you're acting like an asshole towards someone, you're basically taking that cat of nine tails onto Jesus's back, because he takes every sin that you do. So do you really? Do you really want to hit Jesus? So maybe, just maybe, you should stop with the bad behavior because you're hitting Jesus. That's pretty good. Yeah. Bank that one, because it's true. And that's why you got it. Just if you watch, if you're in this chat right now, you hear this and you think we're chill or whatever but you still watch these reaction channels, please stop watching them. Would you watch Jerry Springer? It's worse than Jerry Springer. It what is. What they do to us. It what, is. What, what they do to us is open cyber stalking. Yeah. That's what they do to us. So if you're watching those people, stop. It's gonna mess your head up over time. Trust me, all right? Maranatha, Lord Jesus.